and actually other Japanese scientists that did something and he can find no determinable difference in when they, when uh, comparing the books that they translate. So J Japanese scientists looked at the yeah, different Qurans? Someone in past. Just yeah. Japanese scientists look at the different Qurans? Mm, you could find and no dis determinable differences. Okay, and wh who is the name of that Japanese? Off the top of my head, I can't tell you. I'm very new to this. Okay, I, I have done um, some back. study. Let me finish. Yeah. I have done some studies, and I never come across with a Japanese name who looked at yeah. the Quranic manuscripts or anything. That's first point. Second point is, do you read Arabic? No, I have to read the transliteration. Okay, so you don't read Arabic. No. Right now in my back, I've got two different Arabic Qurans. Yeah. And they are different from one another. So I've got the physical evidence versus your Japanese scholar. Mm -hmm. And then I've got Sheikh Yasser Qadi. He is well-known Muslim scholar. He tells us that there are, there are different Arabic Qurans. Mm -hmm. He tells us there are different Arabic Qurans. And recently, uh, I think it was in... March or it was in March. Uh, Muslims published a book right. looking at the uh, looking at the differences in 30 different Arabic Qurans, and then they came up approximate 90,000, approximate nine, actually over 90,000 differences within the uh, 30 different Arabic Qurans. So according to Muslims. According to physical evidence, that there are different Arabic Qurans and there are variations in it. So, can you get, would you be taking time? Can you take a time and then give me the name of the Muslim scholar, uh, Japanese scholar, who I, tells I'd have you? It's on my, uh, I watched a, a nice video. About okay, can, can you just plug that video down? I love to, I love to know because the claim you made go, not only goes against yeah. Islamic tradition but mm. also goes against Muslim scholars. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. So. You expressed you are Muslim, then which Quran do you believe? Well, you read the are you Muslim too, sir? Yeah, yeah. But you follow the Pictal one, which is just who translated it into English. Yeah. So obviously, not reading Arabic makes it quite difficult because you can choose who translated it, what Quran you read. So, Quran, according to Muslims, I am, are you Muslim, sir? Yeah. So he's Muslim, according to him as well, Quran is Arabic, you are just reading the translation. Yeah, right. I do hold nearly a hundred different English translation of the Quran. Yeah. Therefore, I asked you Quran, when I talk about Quran, I'm talking about the Arabic version yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Quran. Therefore, I am asking... So that you have a problem with that? A problem with what? So what you have a problem with it? Do you think I, I, that there's different Qurans? I don't have a problem. I, I, I do have a physical evidence that there are different Arabic Qurans, but I do have... I do expect people like this gentleman who is Muslim to have a problem with it. Do, do you speak Hebrew? Do you I don't Hebrew? speak Hebrew. The same can be said of the Bible though, can't it? The, Excuse me? The, the Bible's been translated from an, a, a, a language other than English. So what is it? Exactly the same. No, 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 it's not exactly the same. There are not many different Bibles. So let me, let me put it together. You, you told me that Japanese scientist, which I am really not aware of it, yeah. I love to know, I love you to check the name. I, okay, I, I, I can give you, I can give you Sheikh Google, and then you can just Google the, get the name of the... I have a phone, but Okay, do you mind just giving me the name me for my own was, homework? So let, I'll, what's your name, sir? What's your name, sir? Oh, sorry, this is Stephen. Stephen. So you, you, get, you give me the name of the Japanese scientist who... You expressed that he looked at the Qurans and then yeah. he came to the conclusion there is no differences in them. So, as a Christian, my stand is we do have many, many, actually in England we are very privileged, we do have many, many different translations of the Bible. If you go to the certain part of the world, they haven't even got the translations yet. Because lots of books need to be translated, there are lots of different languages. So. No, none of the Christians would make a claim that Bible, dot by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound is exactly the same. We wouldn't make a such a claim because it is written by human beings. We would make a claim that we do have eternal word of God, Lord Jesus Christ, who is perfect. Bible is written by human beings. When you look at the manuscripts, you get to see, because it is written by human beings, and earliest manuscripts were written under the persecution. Therefore, you get to see there are textual variations in it yeah. and then we study that you, so I don't do make think, that claim do you think that just would affect your faith? no I, I looked into the manuscripts I looked at, into the manuscripts before until before seventh century there is nothing affects my faith so now did you get the name for it. me no, I can't find why it. can't you find it 
because I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of stuff on my phone and I have neither the time or the inclination to go through it. I can send it to you. I can find it when okay, I'm Okay, I'm, I am here every Sunday, unless yeah. like speaker's corner is off. I would love to get the name of the Japanese yeah. scientist who makes a claim that that is yeah. one Quran and there are not changings in it. So now, let me show you the two physical evidence mm -hmm. and then also I'll show you the clips from your Muslim scholars. And is this Japanese scientist this is a Muslim? Very, I'll be, um, no, 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 it's not, so, it's impartial. Okay, non-Muslim, non, so you need to make a choice believing in making a decision between two different Arabic Qurans which you, you will see and also choosing your own Muslim scholar versus putting your Islamic tradition and Muslim scholars under the bus and following a Japanese scientist. That's the decision you will have to make. But let me show How you an example. Which, um, which let me show you the examples. <laughs> so would you agree with me? There is a difference in Arabic and in English. I might need help some English speakers here. Difference between ch children, okay, mm -hmm. and son. Excuse me. Children and the children versus son. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a difference. What is the difference? Well, you can be a 50-year-old son. Yeah. Whereas you can't be a 50-year-old child. Or you can you can be children and girl, but you wouldn't be son. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if if you have the Quran, which one Quran says children, other Quran says the son, would you say there are different? Yes. Yes, okay. So you don't read Arabic, but no. you, you are from Britain? Yes. You are from, do you follow the Hafs Quran? The what, sorry? Do you follow the Hafs Quran? Which Quran do you follow? What's the one I read? It's the Pictal one. Yes. Pictal is the translation, but which, uh, which um, different Quran has been used to translate the Pictal? You don't know. Okay, I'll go. I'll go with halves because majority of Muslims in Britain follow the half Quran. This is the half Quran. Half as in H A L F S. H A F S. All right. Okay. Okay. So this is half Quran. Okay, Arabic is half Quran, translated by Muslim scholar Yusuf Ali. Okay. And this is Khalat Quran. Okay. It is written. As you can see, so it is all Arabic, okay, put together by Muslims. So, Surah 43, verse 81 is the verse I want us to look at. Okay, it's here. Say, if most gracious had a song, I would be first to worship. Okay, that's the English translation. If Allah, most gracious, had a son, I would be the first to worship. Okay. okay. If, yes. So. Since you said you don't understand Arabic, okay, I'm going to show you the visual and then I will expect you to go home and do your homework, okay? Because don't take what I'm saying to you. You can read Arabic. Um, I can read it, but I don't understand it. I know what the letters are. Okay? So, if you look at this word underlined, you've got wa, number nine. Yeah. Okay? And then you've got elif here. Okay, and then look at the top of those letters. Okay, just I'm, I'm just showing this three underlined word. Okay, yeah, and then in here, oops, in here I've got the same word. Okay, you've got letter number nine, you've got elif, and then it goes on. Okay, look at the top of it. Yeah. One of them has line, one of them has line. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't have the line, this uh, is different. It has a line, but a dot, yeah, I know it's that's different. Okay, subtle, so yeah. from son, it changed to child, right? Okay, that's first example. Would you say there is a difference between Allah and Muhammad? Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let me show you another example. So that was Surah 43, verse 81. I would expect you to check it and then we talk about it next time. So, Surah 37, verse 12. 
and then also I'm going to show it to you what Muslim scholars write it, okay? So, Surah 37, verse 12. This is the word I am looking at it, yeah. okay? In here it says, I am amazed. Okay, Allah is speaking. Allah is the one who is amazed. I am am amazed. I am amazed. Yes. I am in amazement. Right. Okay. Okay. The Allah is speaking. Yeah. Um, do you mind holding this like this so we can compare? Okay. And then in here, it is you amazed. So Muhammad. This one is says Allah is amazed. In this one is you amazed. Where am I saying that? I says truly, dost thou marvel? Yeah, yeah, it's a different explanation. So Allah and Muhammad are different. Is it Allah amazed or is Muhammad amazed? Well, it's hard okay, to those say are, from that. it is hard to say. Yeah, but yeah. so, so that, 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 that also that the, the word thou is speaking about another. You can't assume that he's speaking. No, it, uh, uh, Quran is the speech of Allah, Allah yeah, Himself. No, 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 no. So but Allah is speaking thou, in this yeah. one. In, sorry, in this one Allah is speaking. In this one Allah is telling Muhammad that you are amazed. Mm -hmm. So that makes two different Qurans, okay? And I show you two different examples. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the book which was put together this year by a Muslim scholar who looks at the 30 different Arabic Qurans and then he puts together the differences with them. So I'll tell you first of all... Uh, yes, yes. There, there, are, you can, you, there are websites that you can go and check it. You can look at the variations. We do have... 5,856 Greek manuscripts, and then there are many variations between them. Yeah. Be, be, between them. But I never go, come, come to speakers' corner and then say, "Oh, Japanese scientists told me yeah, yeah. that there are that is that is one." You can find someone that's going to give you no, something no, to so, back so, Sir, your Muslim scholars are telling you that there are different Arabic Qurans. Let me okay. give you an example, okay? I don't see the point. You don't see the point. Yeah, that, well, Your brother believes there is only one Quran. No, As a Muslim, no, 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 no. you don't believe there is only no, one. No, no, I, I believe in the Quran, and I believe. Which that, Quran do you believe? Again, bear with me. I believe there are different, very subtle transliterations. I'm not talking about the transliterations. I'm talking about Arabic. Yeah. Okay. That, but, so, do you believe there are different Arabic Qurans? It would appear so. Yes. Do you uh, okay. believe there are different Bibles? No. Does it change your faith? No. Does it change the message greatly? No. But for you, yes. yes so for you, point. yes. No, I don't. I don't. No, you I, I, I already showed you two examples, and yeah. I'm going to show you more examples. So, and I don't make the claims you are making. Okay, so here's the list. How, how are we going to get onto you drilling holes in the book like that? that was yeah, I, yeah, that's what I was explaining. Okay, okay so. Um, Sheikh Yasir Kadi, Sheikh Yasir Kadi expressed that there are holes in the narrative when you look at it, it's oh, 37 right, so different Arabic Qurans, okay? Right, so you've made a metaphorical statement. Uh, no, I did ask Muslims, explain it to me why there are different Arabic Qurans. Yeah. Muslims didn't explain it to me and then I made it visual for, for, for visual for Muslims to kind of be brave enough and then tell me why for centuries they've been lying to Muslims you, and telling Muslims yeah. that there is only one perfect preserved Quran and how, even how even would, just a moment sir mm. even the gentleman over there yeah. he's been screaming that Quran is miracle and it never changed mm. there is only one Quran yet I, I showed him three different Qurans all he did was walking away so maybe in England you are privileged are you British I am pretty Yeah. So in England, you are privileged. You are learned to think critically and then you... Yeah. I don't know what is the difference between them, but anyway. Well, Britain is several countries made up into one. Okay. Whereas we come from England, so that makes us English. Okay. Whereas if you come from Scotland, you're Scottish. Okay. I'm not going to go through that. So <laughs> Where in are here, you from? I'm Turkish. Okay. So in here, you've got the privilege of critical thinking and even going to check Google and finding the different Arabic Qurans because they are all over the internet now. But in Muslim world, people don't have access to those informations. People are not as much critical thinker as you are. Therefore, they take what their sheikh has been telling them, and their sheikhs are telling Muslims that there is only one Quran, dot by dot, letter by letter, it's been perfectly preserved, even to the sound. So, therefore, Muslims believe what their, their sheikhs are saying, and they stuck in Islam. So, foundation of Islam is based on the Quran and Muhammad. So far, 37 Qurans caused Islam to mess up 
alongside of that, you do have actions and characters of Mohammed very much disturbing. So I'd never do what a man tells me. I would never listen to a scholar or an imam or a priest. Or a, I don't do what they tell me. I do, so you do your own research? I do what I get from that. Get from what? From the book. From the Quran? What I read and what I take feel in my heart and what I understand of it, that is what I follow. So does Islam give you that chance? Sorry, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Does Islam give you that right to just read it and use your own interpretation? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. You? Yes. That's, okay, okay. So, can you in that case uh, be kind British and English, explain it to me, Surah 65, verse 4? That's okay, I've got the English translation. Sai International, you can pick up Pictal translation if you want, so that we don't get confused. Because I'm going to make a case. Sorry. I'm going to make a case, actually Islam doesn't give you right to read it and then put your own interpretation. But first I let you to do your own interpretation and then explain it to me. Sahih International, okay. Um, Steve, can you go to Pictel 1? Pictel translation, Surah 65, verse 4. 65. Verse 4. Can you read it to me? <laughs> and those who have despaired of the menstruation in, uh, among young women, if you doubt, then their waiting period is three months. And the ones who not, they menstruate, men, I guess, and those who are pregnant, uh, their turn is until they deliver their burdens and forever, uh, whoever fears Allah. He will make for him uh, of his affairs ease. Okay, I read the, this translation and then I will ask you to explain it to me. And those who no longer accept, expect menstruation among your woman, if you doubt, their waiting period is three months. Okay, so there are women who are not, heavy, who are not bleeding anymore. Yeah. When you divorce them, you give them three months to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Yeah. Okay? And for those who have not menstruated. So who are those people? Men. I've not menstruated. It's, where did you come to the conclusion it's talking about men? It's well, got men in it. <laughs> no, it doesn't say men at all. It could mean, though. This thing is, it's, yeah. So, I'm since assuming you mean pre-pubescent. Pre, um, yeah, pre-pubescent. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does girls, that mean? Girls that have not met, uh, come to maturity, yeah. So, so, girls who are not bleeding yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, what, what do you need to do those girls who are not bleeding yet? And wait. Sorry? You wait until they wait. are, and then wait three months. No, no. You have to wait. Uh, when you divorce them, it is talking on the context of divorce. Yeah. Okay, when you divorce them, you give them waiting period of three months to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Yeah. So, for you to divorce someone, in this occasion is the children who are not bleeding yet. Yeah, it could okay. also so be a woman who is sick. Because some women who are stressed, they don't menstruate. Okay. Some people so, who are sick don't menstruate. Just, moment. just before, before you understood that this verse is talking about the divorce, yeah. you were talking about the girls who are... Children. Men, who, children. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So, let's f first take the Probably example of children. From a leading question, though. Sorry? Yeah. From a leading question. Just, let, 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 me, just, let yeah. me just first focus on this. For, for you to divorce these children, yeah. okay, what do you do when, before divorce? What is the label of that act? Before you get divorced. Yeah. What is your relationship with someone? Yeah, you have to have a sexual relationship to. What is the label of that? What is the label of that? A marriage. So you are marrying with someone and you are having sex with someone. Yeah, but you can't have sex even, with someone who hasn't menstruated because according not to who? Well, according they, to who? If they haven't, then they're not a woman. You according can't marry to who? Children. According to who? But in here, it tells you you are divorcing children and then you are giving them three months of waiting period. Yeah, you've, like, tricked us into so what saying, are you? No, I'm not. I'm no. not tricking you. So I, I yeah, am you asking. Do you know said that women sometimes don't menstruate. Okay, tell me how did you understand in this context? It is talking about those women. Yeah, at a first glance, it's, it would appear like children. So but at the first, it is appearing as a children. Yeah, yeah. But now you understood the context and you see it's yeah, disturbing. Yeah. No, no, just a moment, just a moment. You saw it's disturbing, and then you are you want to push in the lines of maybe maybe like someone who is ill. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
if the, so, the, 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 while we're there, let, let me digress. If if there is no difference in the view of Islam that, that, that to have sex with a woman or a child, why the need in that verse to identify them separately? So I'm going to come to that. So there, there I'm must gonna be come to that. context. I'm going to come to that. Yeah. So, your, so far, your own interpretation is not enough yeah. to yourself. So where do you go? All of this is for thinkers. It's not, Quran is not for thinkers. It is. You don't just read so, the words no, and go, yeah, no, that's it. No, you have to think about no, it. No, you said you can read the Quran and then you interpret it by yourself. Yeah, okay? but it so, takes a long time. So, you can't do that. Okay, so far, your okay, own so. interpretation is telling you you are having sex with children and divorcing those children, and that is very much ugly. No, 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 no. He didn't say anything to no. that account at all. He did, sir. No, he no, did. He, he, he already interpreted that, and then he already did it, and he knows that is very much ugly. No, just a moment. Just a moment. Ju just a moment. Just a moment. That, that is his own yeah, interpretation. Yeah, yeah. So, but your own interpretation. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, yeah. now, in your own interpretation, there is a problem. So where do you go to? You go to the interpretations already put together by Muslim scholars, early Muslim scholars. No, have you heard something called tafsir? Yeah, but within myself, I know I wouldn't have a sexual relationship or marry a child. It's Why? It's just simple. Why? No, no what is the reason for that in No right man mind. would... Okay. That, <laughs> are we telling Muhammad was not right in mind when he had sex with a child? Well, she was menstruating, clearly. According to been, who? She would have been a woman. No, according to who? The practices of Islam. Yeah, practices, Where? Yeah. Give, me, give me one but Islamic why, source. Give me a source no, give me one Islamic source. How old was Aisha? How old was Aisha? Between 9 and 11. Yeah. No, she was 9. She, not between 9 and 11. Yeah. Tell her to read the verse in the Bible where Noah slept with his daughters. Can you read that verse for me? I, will, I, I, am, happy, I, am, I am happy to read that, that verse, that but first place. I want, to, I want you to tell me why, did, why if you identify your prophet <laughs> is not man in right mind, why do you follow him? <laughs> no, I, do I don't think that is funny. Right but uh, but you just told me as a man who is in right mind yeah, yeah. wouldn't have sex with a child. I just a moment. Right. Just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Ju just a moment, sir. You wouldn't have a sex with a child, you, but and you, if someone is having sex with a child, you call them not right in mind. But you are quite okay for, with your prophet to do so. People were different back then. Certainly People, different. So, what was the difference between child who was nine years old, six years old, apparently, and, apparently. and then it's a guess. No, according to her testimony, she was six years old when she married Muhammad, and then Muhammad had sex with her when she was nine. In that occasion, Muhammad was fifty-four. Right. So, how old are you? Forty. Forty. Muhammad is older than you. Um, we're not looking for children. We know what you're I hope you didn't think I was 54 then for a moment. No, no, no. No, Muhammad was clearly older than you. No worries. So there is a gentleman, clearly over 50. Nothing yeah. personal, but he's over 50. Do you think what kind of body shape did Aisha had in her age as a six years old while playing with the dolls? I don't agree let, with you let, on six. So you don't agree with Aisha? I don't agree with the age of six. I, so Aisha, Aisha tells she was six years old. Can you prove it? I've never found that I'll talk evidence. to you, wait, sir. I've never found that evidence never, anywhere. So, have you read any Islamic sources? So some, I, yeah, of course. So, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll show you some Islamic sources. We asked why there was holes in the Quran. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did explain. to a Bible. Oh, well, Muslims uh, think it's all right to chop people's head off, so that's worse. Yeah, but so do Christians. No, sir. You're not better than me. That's a false. Well, really, what about all the guillotines that were built and the beheadings in, uh, yeah. in the, you know, in the times of uh, in times of what? I don't think King I'm Arthur. better than you either. Sorry? I don't think I'm better than you. I am a sinner, and I believe you are a sinner, yeah. and you are on the wrong path. So, write down the references. Can you write down the references for you to go home and check it? Because this gentleman is already going to check a couple of references. Oh, I can search. It's fine.
the book Swift of Beast says that, that they're God caused. But people don't mature these days until they're a lot older. So now you are trying society. to justify that, but first let's it's focus fact, on. Though. It is a fact. It's you not a fact. In education no, until you're what 18. kind of. What, <laughs> sir, I'll finish. Uh, when I finish the gentleman, I'll talk to you. I will finish the gentleman and then I'll talk to you. As a woman. Sir, I will finish the gentleman. Once I finish with the gentleman, I'll talk to you. Okay? Yeah, that's what I said. Stress can stop it. See what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you need to justify that versus co that versus communicating that. I, I will justify. Can you that it means what I, I, means? Yes, yes. Oh. I will bring today's Islamic sources to you. Yeah, 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 go, to to Ibn Katir. Sure, okay, go to Ibn Katir. Ibn Abbas, Al Jalalayan, they already tells you yeah. that group is young age. If yeah. you want, I can read it here. It just came out. I have Ibn Katir here. Yeah, you've got Ibn Katir, and then Ibn Katir states the same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation. Jalalayan. Also those who have not menstruated because of their young age. You not because yourself. of Do you know why? No because sir. You ask him, you ask him sir, sir, no. at the beginning. No, 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 no. The beginning. No. Can you, you understand it? He basic yes Islamic you. sources. Right now you try sir, to, you try to basic the, Islamic sources. No. Is, yeah. Basic Islamic sources, if is he's a Muslim, you ask him he at the beginning then he would did you follow read. Kathir only. He, if he I did yes, I didn't say to I didn't ask that to him. I didn't ask that to him. I didn't ask him can you read or understand? And then you have your own understanding of Islam. That's what he said to he me. Said yes. Yeah, so, so and then you, I said why his you own. This interpretation I am not forcing, I'm saying it matches your, sir, your, no, your agenda. This is your most yeah. this is your most reliable Islamic tradition. If you don't trust it, it just, just throw it it's under the, the bus. Just throw it under the bus. Throw it under the bus if that's what you wanted to do now. Where did you get this from? Oh well your Quran failed to explain. From a man, you know, like written like I don't know, like six hundred. Your Quran failed to explain. Whatever you want to say. Say it, it's fine. I mean, you can't prove it, you just say it. No, sir, I give you the reference. If you, if you are shocked, have such hate for Muslims, but Muslims not exactly. bothered. Why, 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 where did you get the information? I have hate for you. Have you have a serious no. passion to disprove something. Yeah. That Islam is false. But why, why so, care? Why, so, care? why don't you prove uh, why I care? Okay, of, let, let, instead of just sir, trying to prove that Islam is wrong, you know? Sir, show me, show me let, the let, peace let, in your let, religion. Let, that's basically no, 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 that's we're humans, you know, we use our logic. Let me, let me first state something. I am very passionate to disprove Islam because I strongly believe it is very dangerous ideology. As an ideology, okay? You are not even allowing me to speak to finish. So just calm down. I know your ideology just proved that it's all right to have sex with the children. And then you are already upset about it. Smoking kills. I do know. Smoking kills. It kills. Before haram, it is kills. It makes you suffer. It's very bad. consent is in Mexico, a Christian country, a devout Christian country. Where did you get the information that smoking is all right or all those things no, are okay? I didn't. I know smoking so, is wrong. So, Islam is, Islam is very much dangerous ideology to humanity. Examples is you look at the life of Muhammad and then you see his actions. You look at the Quran, you see how what Quran teaches about me as non-Muslim and then the teachings of that, it is very much dangerous to humanity. I am cold, Allah doesn't even know my favorite color, but Allah calls me because of my belief, worst of creatures. Allah calls me to be killed if I don't pay the money to Islamic government. Can you, uh, can you prove that happened? Surah somewhere? 98 verse 6, sir. Surah 9 verse 29. So you should be killed because of what, sir? Surah 9 verse 29. And, yeah, and, and, and what do you believe that says that you should be killed? If, 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 if I'm not going to pay the, some money called jizya, right. okay, that's not a tax or anything, you pay the government to protect you from Muslims, yeah. then I should be killed. Okay, that's f Surah 98, Surah 98, verse 6, calls me the worst of creatures. Place, it is not. Time. Quran is not yeah. for that place. If it is for that place, no. you need to tell me Quran is not. Quran is just for that place. Yes. Quran is the eternal yes. word of Allah. Yes. Politically, yes. Yes. Allah yes. planned that from eternity beginning to yes. eternity end. Yes. Politically, from yes. eternity beginning to eternity end, Allah put lust in the heart of Muhammad so he can have sex with his daughter-in-law. From eternity beginning, Allah put lust in the heart of Muhammad so he can have sex with a child. From eternity beginning, Allah planned, I, I am the worst of creatures. Yeah, I, know, right. yeah. I need a wee anyway, I need to go. It's good talking to you. Yeah. I, I, I know we've gone off to some enormous tangent. It was just 
why you drilled would you be, Would you be kind enough and then next week bring me the Japanese scientists? I'll email it to you because I, I live in Hertfordshire. I've, come, I've made a trip down here. I'm taking my... Where is Hertfordshire? Uh, it's about an hour away. So I'm, I live I'm farther than that. I live farther than that. Where, is that? Where do you live? I live 146 miles far from here. Jesus. Uh, I, I'm here every Sunday. Yeah. Please do bring me the reference because I'm very much curious. A non-Muslim Japanese scientist made a claim that Qurans are perfectly preserved. I will, I will find it because I remember telling Dan about it and it was only last week but I've got so much stuff on my phone it's hard to... Okay, I am here every through. Sunday, do bring it. Perfect. It is, it is surprisingly disappointing Sunday where Muslims don't know the basics about Islam. Very disappointing day. They, can, they see the different Arabic Qurans, they see their meaning is different, yet still they want to go and follow the Japanese scientist who, are not, who is not Muslim, where he states Quran has been perfectly preserved to the dot. They see the, they read the Quran where it is telling you you can divorce a child. Once they are disappointed and stressed by it, all they do is try to justify the verse. We live in a sad world, but in this sad world, all we get to hear is Muslims are seeking and hunting for wonderful eternal word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. They are hungry for him, they want him, they are desired for him, let's go and get them.